The Darkness comes to us from the director of Wolf Creek, and it stars Kevin Bacon and Rod Ha Mitchell as a couple with two children who go on vacation in the Grand Canyon. This kid picks up some weird rocks that he finds and brings these rocks back to the house. After that, shit gets weird. I do want to make sure you know to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be talking about a sponsorship I'm doing with Loot Crate afterwards. I went to this movie excited. I love scary movies. Kevin Bacon is one of my favorite actors. I also like Rod Mitchell a lot. She's very good. And, uh, you know, the trailer was a trailer and I just went and saw it for fun and, and uh, it's, it's shit. This movie's horrible. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad because I'm a fan of Kevin Bacon and the movie actually started out semi-promising. There was some good setup. Despite the fact that it was about some kid who stole five rocks, the setup was intriguing at least. There, there was some intriguing possibilities with this movie and it just divulges into a gigantic string of horror cliches 101. And if you think I'm joking, I'm not. Literally everything about this movie is a cliche. Nothing happens forever. Doors open. Who opened the door? I don't know. Lights turn on and off and act strange. Weird electrical occurrences, strange sounds at night. The television turns on on its own. The garage door opened on its own. All kinds of shit like that for like an hour. Not kidding. And of course, the young boy is the only one aware of the presence of this ancient evil that's invaded their home because he's a young boy. Now, the whole thing of the movie is that this young child is autistic. And due to his mental illness, the family just accepts all of the strange things he keeps doing. When in reality, he's interacting with some sort of ancient evil that's in their house. And they all just think, oh, you know, he's just being him. And no, he stole some rocks and you guys are fucked. I like Kevin Bacon. I like Kevin Bacon a lot. Bacon goes good with anything, that's what I always say. But uh, the poor guy is stranded in this movie. I mean, stranded. They try to give him something. It's almost like he and Radha Mitchell attempt to have something. Some marital strain, family strain with their daughter. And they try to bring that into the movie to try to make it something. And it just keeps being weighed down by jump scares and weird handprints on the walls and things that never lead to anything. The sad thing is, is when it actually does lead to something and you see behind the curtain and you understand what's happening here. I mean, I was nearly laughing and I, I feel bad saying that. I don't like hating on movies. I love horror films. I'm always pulling for filmmakers to make good films because I understand how hard it is to make a movie. It's tough. And this just has studio made a movie with horror cliches and hope to make a profit written all over it. I mean, they can't even figure out a way to explain the mythology behind this ancient evil that's taken over their house. So they just sit these characters down and have them watch a long string of YouTube videos. And if they just did that in one scene, I would have been like, ugh, really, come on. Oh well. But they do it again in another scene. It's like they have to have every character that doubts the possibility of this supernatural presence watch YouTube videos about it. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna talk anymore about this stupid movie. Fuck it, I mean, the kid stole some rocks. That's the movie. He stole rocks. I'm gonna give The Darkness a D minus. Because Kevin Bacon and Rodha Mitchell tried. They really did. And that's about it. If you want a good Kevin Bacon supernatural thriller, just don't go see The Darkness. I'm serious. And just stay home and watch Stir of Echoes. This movie is surprisingly good and very underrated. That's why it's back there. Good Kevin Bacon horror film. Check it out sometime. So like I said, I am running a sponsorship with Loot Crate right now, and they're doing a very special crate for May, as you guys know. And if you don't know, Loot Crate is the awesome geek monthly subscription box that comes with tons of amazing stuff that just makes you want to salivate and just put it everywhere and look at it. The May crate is going to have two Marvel items, plus Warcraft and Dragon Ball Z related products. Dragon Ball Z for life, my friends. For less than 20 bucks a month, you get four to eight items, gear, clothing, toys, collectibles. If you sign up at lootcrate.com slash Chris Stuckman and use the coupon code Chris, you have until May 19th at 9 p.m. Pacific time to get 10% off. You guys are the best. Thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get Stuckmanized.